For this video, we are going to assume that you know which model motherboard you have and or computer, whether it be from the manuals that came with the computer or the label on the back of the computer. It's always a good idea to use the most up-to-date drivers available, so for this reason, obtaining your drivers from the internet is preferred. For the example I use in this video, let's say I have a computer in which I recently reinstalled the operating system and after reinstalling the operating system I find that the video display looks bad and I can no longer hear sound. So I conclude these functions are not working because I have not yet installed the drivers. I then search for my motherboard CD and find it nowhere to be found. What to do? Well, I still have the manual and I find that on the manual it reads who made the motherboard and what model of board it is. We can see that the company that made the board is ASUS and the model is P8P67 Deluxe. Now, using the information at hand, we know that our motherboard was manufactured by the company ASUS. So let's go to Google and actually look that up. Now at Google, let's type in ASUS and see what we get. Well, there you go. ASUS.com was the manufacturer's website. Let's check it out. In most motherboard manufacturer websites, you would usually go to service or support to download drivers. In this situation though, you go to services and then click support. Remember, we're here to download drivers for our motherboard. So click the link on the top that says download. This page is asking, what is the model of your motherboard? As we found on the manual, our model is P8P67 Deluxe. So let's type that in and see what we get. This page is asking, what operating system do we need the drivers for? In our case, we're using Windows 7 32-bit, so let's select that. Here is a category list of all the class of utilities and drivers for our motherboard. For this specific motherboard, I will need to download the chipset and audio drivers. Now if you look at the category list, you may notice there is no category in the list relating to graphics. This is because our graphics card is a discrete graphics card. An integrated graphics card is literally built into the motherboard, and a discrete graphics card is a separate card installed into it. The driver for the graphics card must be obtained through its own manufacturer's website. Now along with the manuals, I also possess a manual for the graphics card and it states the manufacturer as being NVIDIA and the model of the card being a GeForce 570 GTX. So let's go to NVIDIA's website and see what we can find. Just as we did before, we go back to Google, this time we type in NVIDIA and we go to the manufacturer's website. Now at the manufacturer's website, you'll notice there's a link up top that says download drivers. Let's click that. Now while you do see a button that says auto detect your GPU, I highly suggest you do it the manual way. So let's go down a little bit to the manual driver search and enter the specifics of our graphics card. We know it's a GeForce, we know it's the 570 series, and we know what operating system, which is Windows 7 32-bit. Let's select those and continue. To start downloading your driver, click Agree and Download. That's it! We've downloaded all the necessary drivers to get our computer up and running. Now it's time for the installation. Now in the installation phase, the first thing we're going to install is the chipset driver. Start by clicking the Setup executable file. Now, don't be alarmed if your screen flickers. This may happen during installing drivers. Over 90% of the drivers that you will encounter are very easy to install. Most only require a few simple clicks of the button next and finish to finalize the process.
If you ever encounter a screen asking you to restart your computer to complete the driver installation, it's best to do so and continue on with the rest of the drivers after the computer restarts. Now it's time to install the final driver, the graphics driver. Let's start it by clicking the setup file. Click Agree and Continue, and on the next screen, make sure Express Recommended is checked. Then click Next to continue the installation. This last screen is asking you to restart the computer for the settings to take effect. Click Restart Now. Well, as you can see, the graphics are nice and smooth now. And if you look to the bottom right hand corner of the taskbar, you'll see that the sound icon no longer has a red X to it, so my sound should be working perfectly. Now keep in mind, all the drivers I downloaded and installed are from my specific system only. Make sure to download your own system specific drivers. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, please send us a message.